Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me, really do appreciate you popping by. We are going to be looking at your weekend forecast and see what comes up for you there. So this can be for the Air Signs watching or if you're dealing with an Air Sign, so um, to the cross watchers, this reading can be for you as well. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Um, otherwise, let's shuffle some cards and gauge this energy for air signs. Okay, air signs. So I'm really drawn to this nine of cups here, and I feel like this is something about a wish or an intention. Some of you are finding yourself wishing for something, and this has been something that's been really tough to get for you. It's almost like a situation where you've been wishing for a person or for a relationship, maybe, or for things to play out the way you want them to and so far it's been a little bit tough and somehow air signs you're feeling like you've got the short end of the stick here you feel disadvantaged about a situation we've got the emperor we've got the hierophant so this is with a power couple this is with someone who was a big connection here for you i'm talking this is the person that you've married, this is the person you thought you'd marry, this is the person that you saw a future with, this is the person, this was the real deal, air signs. And six of pentacles makes me feel like you were on the short end of the stick where things didn't really go how you wanted them to go. And you feel like you're kind of deprived of that connection right now. The five of ones, this is a lot of, this is the wolves coming to get you. So I feel like this is that anxious energy this is dysfunction and this is arguments so there's been a lot of arguments or dis dysfunction around this connection and even though with your whole heart you've wished for something it hasn't happened in the physical for you yet at this stage you're not ready to move on entirely six of swords is reversed and that's your energy air signs some of you are sort of withdrawing or retreating and, and that might be what's best for you at this stage of where you find yourself. But I feel with the Six of Swords, you're also not seeing anything progress forward. If anything, you're seeing some steps, like things are being reverted and you're not happy with that. The Ten of Cups reversed, it makes me feel like some of you have been zapped off, zapped off that future that you once saw, like suddenly it was all taken away from you. It happened very quickly. You've tried to be strong here with the strength card. And for the most part, you have been. Um, but underneath it all, you know, to have that Ten of Cups reversed, it sort of put you off maybe love or relationships or maybe this person. And you have, may sort of find yourself feeling a little bit numb right now. The Queen of Pentacles is also reversed here. So you're not in a position to give a lot of love now because something has pained you, something has hurt you. And even though you still wish for something to change, some of you may feel like it's too late or some of you haven't seen uh, the results or the changes that you've wanted. Whether this is something you've wanted from yourself or something you've wanted from another person, it hasn't come at the timeline that you've wanted or that you've expected it to. There is a bit of pride coming in the way here as well, though, with that uh, strength card. It's Leo energy, so it makes me feel like you're standing by your self-respect and you're not pushing the situation. You are sort of accepting what comes. I think at this stage you're open, um, but you're not jumping into anything. You're not replying straight away. You're not making labels to a connection right away you're sort of just seeing where it takes you because you've been hurt by this person before and you may fear on some level that they'll hurt you the same way remember the wish you've wanted for them 
Maybe you've wanted them to change. Maybe them you've, want, you've wanted them to understand that they do things that hurt you and maybe they never really understood. Maybe they can't relate because they, they don't understand. But, you know, they've they've done it and they've crossed you and it's it's really upset you to a point where, you know, you're just sort of like, well, you know what, I'm leaving it to the universe. If if this person wants me or if they want to change, they will for themselves or for you, air signs, they will. Um, and that's just that's just the truth, you know, when we really want to change our lives for the better, change our love lives, change for our partners, our spouses, we absolutely can. It's not an overnight change. It doesn't happen that quickly. It does take time. Um, but I think for you, you're not seeing any of the signs. If anything, that person is sort of going back to their old ways, back to the things that they used to do, whether it's toxic, whether it's cause you pain, cause you jealousy. It's like Six of Swords is reverse movement. So there's no movement at all, or it's like two steps forward, one step back, or someone is back to their old ways. And I could see how that would be upsetting and how you'd feel just really disappointed and let down that that's happened again, um, especially if you've invested a lot into that connection. Okay, you've got options around you. There's new love coming in left, right, and center air signs. You know, you've got people picking you up, people trying to slide into your DMs. You have that happening around you, but a lot of you are perhaps not ready. Five of Pentacles, um, you possibly don't want to commit entirely um, to a new connection right now. Or the Five of Pentacles makes me think you're still healing from whatever this is that's going on. I think soon enough in time, you're going to start to feel some loneliness and maybe re be ready to date again with that hermit reversed. Um, for others, it's like someone's coming back into the picture going, I don't want to be away from you anymore. I don't want to be away from you, from love, from whatever we had or whatever we could have had in the future. So there may be someone here that's returning. Um, and it's someone you haven't connected with in a long time and you guys have been separated and your lives have taken you different places. So there can be something here and it can be like an online connection. Maybe someone long distance um, that's coming back in and sort of making you think this way um, and making you sort of open yourself up a little bit more. But right now I feel like five of pentacles. It's telling me like physically you just don't have the energy for any more disappointments or you don't have the energy to backtrack and reverse and go back to those old ways because you've done it time and time and time again. You've been on that roller, co roller coaster ride many times before. So um, look, I will leave it at that air signs. I thank you again so much for tuning in and hopefully we shall be in touch soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.